It's Alec here with Mimozine. Welcome to New York City. We're at a screening of The Room at Village East Cinemas. We're here to find out more about why these crazy characters are coming out to see this movie, what the movie means, what it's about, and just what exactly is going on here. Okay, yes. what, what can you tell me? What's, what's the room all about? What's going on? Um, what, what is it about? <laughs> There's like drug use, relationships, it's like, it covers everything. It's the Schindler's List of dark comedies. What was the first point at which you realized this is something different? The first line of the movie. <laughs> As soon as he walks in the door. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> it's a very endearing film, and I think what makes it endearing is Tommy. Yeah. Thank you, Hannah. This is a beautiful party. You invited all my friends. Good thinking. Who's got Tommy Wiseau's backstory? He's a genuine American citizen. <laughs> origin story. I'm looking for origin story. Probably porn. No, do we even know where he's from? It's just all a lovely mystery. Is he is he is Austrian? He, is he from Louisiana? I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. We just accept. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. We're here in L.A. talking with Greg Sestosterone Sestero, playing the character of Mark. Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm very busy. What's going on? How did you first meet Tommy? How did this all begin for you? I met Tommy in an acting class. I walked in you know, to class, and I actually hadn't seen him yet, and he went up and he did a, a scene on stage and the entire class was cheering. I mean, they absolutely loved him. Anytime he'd go up there, they'd chant Tommy. So when it came time for us to pick a new scene partner, I said, I, I gotta work with that guy. We ended up being like the hits of the class together. What do you mean about that? Well, what do you check about this tomorrow? And he told me, he said, I have this project that I'd really be interested in you doing there's a role for you I think you'd be really good at. And so we kept in touch, and little by little, we, we formed this movie called The Room. Did you ever foresee The Room's effect panning out in the way it did on the audience? So I knew there was, if people saw it, I knew that they would get a kick out of it. And at the premiere, people really enjoyed it. But I never thought it would become what it is right now. 15 minutes before the movie even ended, I was on the phone demanding that my other best friends who weren't around come to the theater. The we, first time you ever saw it? Yeah, the first time I ever saw it. I saw it four times in three days. Yes, I didn't know about the spoons. I do now, and I'm prepared to throw a bunch of spoons at the screen. Got some spoons. Spoons. What's your reaction to the way the audience has kind of taken ownership of this movie? It's insane. I've never seen anything like it before. I mean, the lines that people are showing up, the, the genius stuff they come up with at every part. I mean, to me, the audience, you know, I enjoy just as much as the film. That's life. Thanks for paying my tuition. You are very welcome, Danny. And keep in mind, if you have any problems, talk to me and I will help you. Awesome. Thanks, Johnny. Let's go eat, huh? Come on, let's go. <laughs> what is it about the movie that makes you, people want to share it? People want to like, you want to repeat the lines and you want other people to be in on the joke. I did I not hit her. her! I did not! Hi, Hi Mark! <laughs> My favorite scene in the room is probably, oh, I really like the flower shop scene. Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> Here you go. That's, that's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye-bye. In this kind of world of internet and YouTube and HBO, it's all this at home appreciating things on small screens. This is something that really still exists in the theater. Is there any, uh, any thoughts on on how this is almost like an analog film experience that's happening in this digital age. Yeah, it's amazing because, you know, even great films come out and they're gone in a few months and are out on DVD and you never see them again in the theater. And the fact that this is going to be like celebrating its sixth year and selling out more now than than it was before is, is really, it's pretty cool. Even though I've seen the movie hundreds of times, there's still those new moments and that's, you, you thank the creativity of the audience because you know, the movie will always be the same, it'll always be amazing, but the audience will always be changing and so will the times and so will the jokes. Does the room have a moral? Does it teach us anything? It teaches us love is blind. You know what I what? take away from it? Don't worry about it. Breast cancer? Don't worry about it. I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. I'm sure I'll be all right. Bye bye. You're in a drug deal, don't worry about it. You have my money, right? I'm gonna ask you again, Danny. 
Where is my money? Don't worry about it. So much like a young Bobby McFerrin. Not since Sophocles has there been a better philosopher, <laughs> a meditator on the human condition. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. Refresh your memory. You enjoy the room. Come on, it's clear. Meme about.